In today's video, I wanna show you guys a really cool Google Slides tool that you can use that converts PDF files or text into Google Slides presentation. Now I've partnered up with my friends at Plus AI and I've done a video with them before in the past. Now, if you don't have Plus AI yet, thankfully it's very easy to install and you can use my link down below in the description. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, so I have here again, information on Indonesia, which is gonna be my native country. And you can see it's pretty lengthy. There's a lot of text. Um, there's a lot of different sections, charts, whatever. And, you know, to be completely honest, I really don't want to read this, right? So what I have done with this file is that I have downloaded it into my computer and I'm just going to feed it right into the Plus AI extension. I'm going to go ahead and go to a new Google Slides presentation and I'm going to go to extensions and I'm going to go to Plus AI over here and I'm just going to click new presentation with Plus AI. Now we're gonna let it do some magic a little bit. It's working in the background and you can see here that the Plus AI um, window has popped up on my Google Slides. Now, what I want to do here, I could actually use a prompt or upload a file, which I'm going to be doing exactly. I'm going to be uploading a file, right? And you can, there's different settings here that you could tweak. So you could preserve, which means you're preserving as much content of the original text as possible, or you could enhance it. So, you know, summarize, add details or whatever, right? So I'm assuming enhance is more creative, preserve is more original, right? Um, again, you could change the language here um, to whatever language you want to how many numbers of slides here you can go up to 19 which you know I, I don't think you would need more than 19. um and even if you do you could always break up your files right and you could hit include plus tips or exclude it um, i'm going to include it for now we can always remove it later but ju it's just to show you guys what it is going to actually generate and i'm just going ahead and hit choose file here and now it is uploading the file that i just chose which is exactly this file that i just showed you guys it's like uh you know, summary of Indonesia, right? And you can actually include custom instructions. And by custom instructions, I mean like you could modify this presentation to have different things. So for example, like you can type in the company you work for, um, you know, it could, you know, basically you're just refining and fine tuning the AI uh, model. So it knows exactly and if there's any requests that you want, like for example, um, you know, you can write this for a teacher. You can write this. This is for a classroom assignment, whatever it is, right? This is a homework assignment. So without further ado, I'm just going to hit generate presentation here. We're going to let it do its thing. Um, you could choose a theme here. Um, I'm pretty sure you could edit it later on, but I'm going to pick this plus vintage over here. I'm going to click next and we're going to let it generate my presentation. Okay. Now you can see here, it barely took a minute or two to generate this and it has finally, uh, you know, generated the presentation that we wanted. So it says here on the right, it says presentation generated. You can hit thumbs up or even thumbs down if you don't like it, but I highly doubt you're going to dislike it. So go ahead and click this and you can see here that it, this is going to be a title slide. Now you can see what we were talking about earlier, the plus tips. So these are the plus tips. So you can always, again, like I said, if you don't like it, you can delete it. It's not like it's there forever, right? Um, and you can see here the title is going to be Introduction to the Republic of Indonesia, uh, Geography, History, and Health, which is basically what the article is about. It, it's, it nicely puts a title for you. It has an agenda, and you can see here it's you know pretty thorough, right? Introduction to Indonesia, Geographical Overview, Historical Context, whatever. And you can see here that this is basically the introduction, right? So what are we going to be learning about in Indonesia? Well, we're going to be learning is geography, history, economy. We're going to be learning about, you know, the different climate, administrative di divisions and summary of key historical events. You can see here as well. So geog uh, geographical overview, right? Uh, this is basically generated from that article, right? So you, it, it, got, it got the information like five major islands, um, you know, different 80% of territory is covered with water. And it even generated a nice picture here that wasn't even existent in this article. I did not feed it any pictures. It got its own picture from somewhere online, I'm assuming. And it was able to generate this, which is actually great, right? Um, again, it's giving you another tip, like include visual aids, like maps or diagrams, which is an amazing tip, by the way, we're talking about geography. Why not include a map, right? You're not gonna, you're not gonna just have plain text and talk about geography without having a map. So we could delete that again. Again, nice photo over here, historical context here. You can see the different things, the different presidents, economic growth, and you can see that it's not just text, right? It's there. The format is very different, right? You could have different points here. You can have two columns here. You have these different boxes. Again, you can always change stuff up, right? You don't like this color. For example, you can go ahead and change it. Why not? Right? You can go ahead and change this color. You're not locked or anything. You don't like the font. 
you can go ahead and change the font, right? It's not like, uh, like I said, nothing is locked here. You could always change everything. And then again, it's giving you a nice tip, incorporate more recent economic data or events, because obviously this article was probably, you know, written a long time ago, right? I don't even know. I, I literally just looked it up. It looks like the latest data is like, what, 19 something is before 2000s, right? I'm feeding it old information, but it's making it look really modern, which is kind of funny, but um, again, you can go ahead and delete these tips if you don't like it. So these charts right here, right? It will tell you, uh, the different charts. So this chart is a placeholder, right? Um, you can always change it here. You, when you click customize it here, you click this and you click this and it will actually change the charts in your Google slide. So it's something that they generated. Um, and you can go ahead and make a copy of this. And then there you go. So now it's even telling you like how it's, uh, how it's added, how, how to add this thing, right? So you can go ahead and follow the instructions here. Um, and I'm assuming the bar charts here is going to be the, the, the different, like, data points that you're going to plot in. So you can add your data here and, you know, plot different things here. Again, copy and paste it to Google slides. If you want to, for example, I, I want to change this number right here, right? This, I'm assuming this number is just going to be following along with this series, a series B series C, right? So for example, this could be like population year, whatever. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to copy this, right? So what I can do here is I could just click this hit copy. I'm just doing control C or you could do edit copy. It doesn't matter. And then when you do, when you paste it here, you can see here, uh, control V, right? Um, I could link it to that spreadsheet. So when I paste it, all this data right here that I just got, yeah, I can delete this old chart, right? This is the placeholder chart and boom, all this data that I just got from the Google sheets will be linked here. So whenever you're making any changes here, it'll be automatically linked to this uh, particular slide. So again, very nice. You can upgrade it. You can update this data to more modern data, right? Obviously 2024 data, um, and whatnot. And again, like I said, everything is great. Look, you have different, you have different icons here, you know, like an expand icon, a family icon, everything is just kind of generated for you, which is actually super nice. Um, health sector priorities, right? And I'm assuming again, like I said, they're referring to this article that I just uh, used, but again, they're doing it in such a great way that there's different icons, different photos. And also guys, I also want to mention one thing that if you also don't like the way it's written and you don't want to rewrite everything all at once, you can just go ahead and go over here back to your extensions of plus AI and you could you could actually click edit with plus AI and when you're editing with plus AI a little window on the side is going to pop up and you can actually use plus AI again to rewrite your slide. I've covered this in a previous video but we're just going to cover it really quick here. So let's just say for whatever reason you don't like the way this is written, right? You can hit rewrite here and you can just go to the current slide or you could rewrite selected text, you know, however you want to do it. You can even rewrite all the slides, but you know, I, I, I would just rewrite one slide, right? And I would say I want it to be educational. I want to rewrite each line for an audience of fifth graders, right? To make it easier to understand, for example, maybe people don't know what morbid morbidity is, or maybe people don't know. Um, maybe it's using just too high vocabulary words. We're going to want to dumb it down a little bit. So I want to hit rewrite each line for an audience of fifth graders. And I'm going to hit rewrite current slide right here in the middle. And what it's doing, it's exactly rewriting all these slides using, you know, obviously AI and let's see how it comes out. And there you go. It literally just rewrote its sentences and I can say changed up all the harder words to easier ones. And, you know, if you really still don't understand, you could keep doing this. You could keep rewriting it again. It doesn't take that long. You could, you know, have your own prompt, like rewrite it to, you know, an audience of first graders or rewrite it as a professional pitch or something like that. So the possibilities are endless here. And again, this will save you a lot of time. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, check out my friends at Plus AI for this awesome tool. Use my link in the description if you haven't downloaded it yet. And I will see you guys all in the next video.